Hello and welcome again to this edition of Fi TV. I'm your host Brad Swanson. We are coming to you from inside the Florida Capitol during the 2022 Florida Legislative Session. We are joined by our good friend, Representative Fred Hawkins. Fred, welcome back to the program. Hey, thanks for having me. It's good to be back. All right, so everybody knows you are an educational advocate through and through. It, it, it might not be your sole brand, but it's definitely a brand you carry. You're working on a couple of things, one with charter schools, and I know you got something else. Let's start on charter schools. What's happening there? So we bring a charter school bill that uh, really set structure for our school boards on how they renew charters and how they work with consolidation. So those are the two major components of the bill. Uh, made it all the way through committee and was on the House floor last week and passed. So How will this help those that are advocates or fans of charter schools? So what this really is about is the students, parents, and teachers. So it allows for a renewal to be 90 days before the end of the school year so they don't get into summer and realize that their charter wasn't renewed and then they're looking for a school for their children or parents uh, looking for a school or the teachers looking for employment. And this has to do with how those charter schools work with their local school board, who which typically handles things in the public school system, correct? Right. The school boards are the overseers of the charter, so they do the approvals and regulate the charters. Okay. So this gives the parents a little protection to go, okay, hey, is our school still going this year or do we need to go work? Okay, that's a wonderful thing. School safety is another huge issue for you. What's going on there? Well, I was honored to be selected by uh, Chair Latvala to run this bill this time. That was his passion. Um, so a lot of big, big things to this to make schools come into compliance with school safety. You know, Florida needs to be the leader when it comes to school safety after the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. So worked with the families, worked with law enforcement, developed a great bill that got unanimous support on the House. A lot of protocols there, you know, Florida and the way we protect our students is so important, not just because of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, but, um, but of, of so many reasons. And our students really need that protection. So, so where do those two bills go next? Uh, those bills uh, are in the Senate and should be approved this week and uh, now to the governor. Look at you, freshman, like getting your bills across the finish line, hopefully very soon before the last week of session. So um, what else are you focused on for the remainder of this session? Appropriations. Uh, of course, I'm on two of the conference uh, committees, so, so I'll be in higher ed and K-12 approaches, but also looking out for things back home in the district so I can you know, take that money back home to there and uh, be the advocate for them. Yeah. A lot of late nights for you up ahead, so uh, we'll stay tuned. Hopefully we can get you back on before the end of session, but thanks for all that you do for Florida and for all those that are fans of a great educational system. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Love to come back. Thanks. That's all the time we have for this episode of Fi TV. Make sure you hit us up on our social media feeds for more great interviews like this one. And for now, thanks for tuning in.